Since we believe that God is the giver of every blessing, every good and perfect thing, everything that we possess comes from God, then we need to know that we have always have to acknowledge whatever we possess. We have to acknowledge Him as a true owner. We are just steward. We are, let's say, uh, if I should use, or uh, I should put it this way, we are caretakers. And God is a true owner of whatever resources that we possess. So it's not limited by money. Our skills, some of us, we can play the drums very well. Some of us, we can sing beautifully. Some of us, even in Austria, the kind of smile that we put up, you see, it invites people, it's very inviting. God has deposited something in us that we can use it to move, move the church forward. There's something in us. It could be the knowledge that we have acquired as a student. It could be the skills. It could be something that, it could be something, maybe in the way you, 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 you organize things. It's a skill. It's a resource. So let us not limit ourselves by just looking at maybe the money that we pay uh, as tight, uh, as mission offering or whatever. So even the children that we have, so we shouldn't go throwing ourselves about that. Uh, I have beautiful children. I have some handsome boys and girls. Mm, I'm married to one of the, the, the most beautiful women in Finland. No, we should acknowledge God in how we treat our wife, treat our children, the money that we have, the knowledge that we have acquired, the skills that we have, even our looks, everything that we possess, every resource, we should see it as given by God. We should be faithful in the way we manage them. What have I have been put in our trust? So in this case, I want to make special mention of leaders. Leaders, whether you're a leader in your organization, in your business, you're a leader in the church. God expects that we be faithful in the way we handle things. In the same way as parents, let us be faithful. God has given us our ch the, the children as resources. They are resources and we need to be faithful in the way we, we, we bring them up. We need to love mercy. We have to be merciful to our brethren who are struggling. Imagine we are here, somebody has come from other countries and he has no secure job. Do we sometimes bother to, to ask us, how, how are they surviving? How, how do they survive? How, how can we help them? We are one fa family. So if we, we find out that somebody is not working, somebody has just come, and how, 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 how do we show that we care? The Bible says that as good steward, we need to support the poor and the needy. By God's grace, you can live from hand to mouth and realize that your brother is suffering. If there's, you can connect him in a way, if you can introduce him to your supervisor, please do that. Let's do that. If there's something, if maybe you have to show him how you can get a job, how to apply. If you know some websites, you can introduce it to the brother. Let's, let's support each other. We can't go and sell maybe our shoes and our, our suit to, to support, but if there's something, there's a little help we can. It may be once in a while you realize that our, one of our brothers or sisters have just come and uh, he's not working. Once you say, oh, when are you free? We take him to the house. You prepare something for you to enjoy together. If you can, uh, once in a while you can dash out some 20 euro or 10 euro, oh, this is just, just for taking it. They will appreciate it. Because please, you, you know very well that it's not easy to survive in Finland when you're not working. Now when you read Matthew chapter 6, 19 to 21, when the widow went to offer, Jesus was sitting down. Perchance he was just near the offering bowl. People were coming, the rich were coming in to offer. But that widow, from what he you know, see, in that place, that the might is a, is a, is a is the lowest currency. If you are in Finland, it will be considered as uh, cent. He offered some cent. You see, but Jesus knew that he has given all that she had. So please, what is important for us to note is that when we ask us to give, the problem is not, don't sit there and say, oh, for me, I don't have money, so I'm not, let's allow the rich people. 
But from the little that we have, let's come and give of the little, the little that we can. Let's give it out, and the Lord will bless us. The point is, is, is the Lord knows how much you have. So from that little, offer unto him, the Lord will bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. But remember that David said that, I will not give anything to the Lord that will not cost me. You see? So the most important thing that, from what you are giving, you, you should feel it. You should feel that, ah, in fact, this 10 euros, I could have prepared some nice soup. But I have to offer it because some, I, need, I need to support that way. So that, that is one of the uh, things that we need to note. And when you read from Matthew chapter 6, 3 and 4, it says that what you do when it comes to giving, what the left hand does, the right hand should not see it. So if our, uh, you are doing me, it's very important when you do you don't go and tell people, oh, I supported this brother. I gave him this or give him that. No, 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 You have already received your blessings on earth. See, you want people to praise you. And that one, you, you don't, then you don't, you don't you receive your reward. You don't have to uh, expect God to bless you out of that. Today, as we remember the, the poor and the needy, let us try to show kindness to one another. Let's look around here. Let's look around those of us who are in need. Let's try if there's something that we can do to support them. And also, as believers, as we pay our tithes, as we offer towards the work of God, the Lord will bless us. He will bless us. Uh, Luke 6.30 says that you, you bless us so much that you have to press down and shake it over again. The Lord will bless us. There's blessing in giving unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. 